What's up everyone, Dar Sizzle here from Dar Sizzle Offshore and in today's video we go on an epic alligator hunt and we fill our tags baby. Too closer ones you're gonna be farmed with, so they're probably in the 10 foot, 11 foot range. Oh. Alright, oh, hit the brake. Oh, yeah. Is that good now? Is that real? Real slow? You feel him on there, snatch his ass. <laughs> the drag set good, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Good morning, everybody. Dar Sizzle here, putting in behind the camera. And we are up in Central Florida today, alligator, hunt, alligator hunting. Brian got a couple tags this year. Sorry, trying to talk a little low because we're, we're still hunting. But we are with our good friends, Captain Byron and Kim from Osceola Outback Adventures. And again, we are hooked up on a gator. We are using a fishing rod, heavy duty fishing rod with a big old treble hook, casting it out and basically snagging the gator and now we're going to get a second line into him and this is a nice one. Really powerful. When you see gator, you shoot him. Just don't shoot him in the front of the face. Try to shoot him in the back of the neck or the, or the sides. He's coming up. When you see that leader, that swivel, yeah. him up. shoot him anyway. Right? Yeah, anywhere you can hit him. I tell him, shoot him in the gator, it don't matter where. All right, guys, so you just see I handed off the rod to Kim. Now she's battling the beast. She's locking down the drag, and we're trying to pull this gator up right by the airboat here. I am using Byron's bow, and we are basically going to get this buoy into him. So I'm going to shoot him anywhere I possibly can as soon as this gator comes up. And that's going to be the second line or snag, or, or, or well, actually, arrow that we're going to get into this gator and then uh, the battle's on, and hopefully this will be a quick and easy kill. Okay. All right, Captain Byron just threw out a giant grappling hook on a rope, so he's gonna try a trick here, and we're still gonna try to get this arrow into him. We just snagged him. Get that bank stick back in the car. Oh, we got two drops. A lot of chaos, ain't there? Here, here, here. Don't pull that out yet. All right, you know how that bank stick works, right? Yeah. All right, hand you that just, you just, you're live. You're live. You're live. So just keep it pointed. Okay. That way. Drop your booty in the water. There's his head. Can I just hold up here and yep. just push Punch it hard on the back of the head? Go on. Yeah. Should I get up behind you? Yep. You good. Oh. You get on your side. Hold on. Yeah. Come around Sorry. beside me. Weird. Come on, Gator. Ready? Last one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my god, and now I can't hear. Bang sticks are so loud. I but I think I might need to get a second yep. shot into them, but just got the bang, just take, uh, bang stick there. A lot of chaos going on, y'all. It has a solid gator. And we got one more tag. Okay. We're gonna see what happens. Nice. Yep. Well, you can where you were was fine. You'll yeah, see the eyes. The side. You'll see the flat plate on his head, and then you see where it's kind of like a, a moon shape where it goes to the neck. Right. If you hit him in, right there in that neck, dead center, you'll break his spine. This is live. Okay. We did get that first shot into this gator. He is dead, but just to, as a safety precaution, you know, this kills him quick and easy. This is a live um, 
bang stick and there's a what kind of shell? 44 Magnum. 44 Magnum. See your bullet hole? In there, yep. Punch him, come behind me. Yep. And um, try to punch him just to the right and a little bit lower than that. Just to the right and lower, yep. like this way. Yep. See that white line's kind of across his head? Yeah. Somewhere in there. That's lower. That's right here. Right in there. With all the lines. Punch that son of a bitch. Just don't worry about the lines. No, go. You got him. <laughs> I'm covered. <laughs> I just started off a wave of water and it just came flying oh over gosh. the boat into my face. I'm soaked. I'm literally soaked. Yes, yes. Just straight on my face. <laughs> I just felt the cold wave of water like, as soon as I hit like, And my eyes closed and I was like, did I hit him? <laughs> like, oh my God, I just got soaking wet. Here he comes. All right, hold on. All right I'm going to get help him get this gator on. Yep. Right over next to Pudding. Just right behind his nose hole. <laughs> You're shaking a little bit I now, don't you? I am shaking. I'm full of adrenaline right now. I'm full of adrenaline. Oh, that's awesome. And then when that bang stick goes off, I'm like not ready for it. Yeah. It's so loud. All right, that's good. All right. I still kind of didn't get him dead center, but he's dead. All right. <laughs> you got him, man. No, he's done now. Don't worry, guys. I got the camera. No problem. <laughs> yeah. We don't need you. I've heard that before. One, two, three. <sighs> One, two, three. <sighs> One, two, three. <sighs> One, two, three. It's the biggest we've ever harvested. That's for there sure. There we go. <sighs> now, here's what you normally do. <sighs> After you breathe, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is a team effort right there. Good job, Darcy. But thank you. Good job. We would have not been able to do it without them. So if you have alligator tags that you want to fill, they'll be more than happy to take you in like their area over here in Osceola. Hey, y'all have any duct tape I can fix that rod with? <laughs> I don't have any duct tape. <laughs> yeah, we broke a rod in the middle of it. That's what happens. You know, it's a casualty during alligator hunting. Yeah, just deal with they destroy yeah. your stuff. You see up the bowline, we're cutting up there. Line. But I estimate how big you think he is. I'd say he's probably 11. 11. 11. 11 foot gator. The That's biggest we've sure. ever harvested. And Byron is going to do the duty of putting the tag into the gator. That's legal. Legal catch. Swimming at the boat, swimming at the boat. Instant hook up, guys. It's set good, right? The drag set good, right? As soon as I cast it, I basically casted the line on his back. He almost pulled me into the water. He felt the treble and it almost got pulled forward. Now we're trying to block the gator off from getting in the grass. Okay, much more difficult than fighting a fish, finding a giant 500 pound, yeah, giant prehistoric alligator, big old lizard. We got him close. This battle's not over, they're down deep. This particular part of the lake is like 25 feet deep by Erna Sane. So you kind of got to lift them from the bottom. All right, so here we go with the team effort. We're just letting this big old gator tire out and uh, with the hook in him, you know, applying pressure to him. Got this drag locked down. He should get tired out here. And then we got Kim on the bow with the buoy. We're going to try to get another line into him. And then we got the grappling hook. So this is all team effort. You can't do this by yourself. Ryan's using the troll motor to get over to the gator, try to catch up. Keep this line tight on a gator at all times. 
rod bent over, you're gonna lose them. Their hide is so insane and thick that it's really hard to penetrate it, even with the sharp grappling hook. All right, guys, like I said, team effort on this. I am letting Byron fight him for a second here, trying to lift up 500 pounds of weight. This is really tough. So I switched off the rod, he's real close, and I'm worn out here, but I'm gonna have the bow ready, and we're gonna shoot this gator. Oh! No! All right. So unfortunately, what just happened there, Byron was pumping up this gator, and the braid just broke, 120 pound braid mainline, just threw out a grappling hook to see if we can still get this gator but the day's not over yet. We got a couple hours of hunting left. We broke the rod before on this gator in the boat and we just broke the line on there. Stuff happens. That's hunting just like it's fishing. So we're gonna get back on this to see if we can get another one on the boat. Oh, that happens. You got him? No. Watch this rope. What do you want me to do? You're on your trolling motor. You wrapped on your trolling motor. He's under the trolling motor. His head was right there. Brian just hooked him on the grappling hook. Oh, he's death rolling. Get that bank stick, baby. I got it. Darcy. Yes. Give me the bank stick. Okay. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. No, I want you to kill him. Does it have a bullet in it? Yes. Okay. Is it alive? It's alive. Get the bow. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my gosh. Nice work. Got him unwrapped from the tunnel motor. Walk down. Okay. Oh, you sorry. Hit him now. I'm sorry, Go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Heck yeah! That's what I'm talking hey, about. Woo! -hoo! That hit me. Bone got you off a of gator's head. Is it in my butt? Is it in me? Yeah, bone got you. Oh, it's not in me. No. Woo! <laughs> we did it! High five! Yes. High five! Yeah. Hell yeah! We did it, y'all! We got the second gator. I don't know how Byron just did that with the grappling hook. That was absolutely insane. And uh, just shot that bang stick perfectly. And I actually got a bone shard that hit my leg. Pretty crazy. All right. Ugh. Woo! They get bigger. He's bigger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Hey, hey Brian, you not put him for out getting tag <laughs> Unbelievable, y'all. We just boated two giants in a matter of an hour, less than. And look at how he has that. Oh wow! Look at that. So you heard me guys say that you saw when Byron broke off the line, immediately threw out the grappling hook, gave it two tosses. And he just got him on the edge of the foot. Look how lucky we are. Look how lucky that is. Wow. That's why Byron and Kim are the alligator experts. There you go. He said we'll take lucky over good any day. Wow. Gator got wrapped up in the trolling motor. We literally destroyed like every piece of equipment on this boat today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lucky. We're nice enough to have nice friends to take us out, but still, that's what shows you gator hunting is absolutely insane. You're gonna break equipment, you're gonna lose stuff. It's just part of the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what adds to the story, I mean. Right, right. Just like big fish, you know, big gators, they're smart. You know, they don't get that big for, they get that big for a reason, so. Pretty sweet. And you can see that I basically shot that one in the correct spot. Perfect shot. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Team effort would not be able to do with it without Brian and, Byron and Kim. I'm gonna link all their information down below. I'm standing on a gator right now. But I'll link all their information if you wanna go bass fishing, barramundi fishing, hunting, they do it all. So yeah, you can go gator hunting with them. They'll take you, no problem. I'll link all their information down below. They have fish to pit on their ranch with awesome barramundi and a lot of awesome cool stuff that they do in the great outdoors of Florida. Yes, they are. Instagram celebrities oh, and, and everybody on Instagram and anybody that fishes comes we to hang out with Dorothy. them. We have <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're That's awesome. Everybody loves them. So everybody loves them for a reason because they're so sweet.
What's up, guys? So we're on the way to the processor for the alligators, but I want to get a couple maybe legal points or some clarifications down the way first. First off, this is a legal gator hunt. This is a, a lottery system. And of course, they do all kinds of studies and they determine you know, how big the gator population is and in certain areas they need to thin it down, thin the herd down for conservation purposes. And then everyone puts in for a lottery and I this year happen to get two tags. Um, you know, there's not that many tags given out. Like for instance, Byron hasn't gotten tags in years. So, uh, you know, it's very limited supply. Uh, next question we often get is about that thing that Darcy hit the, hit the alligator with and exploded. It's called a bang stick. And it's got a 44 Magnum shell in it. And it just, you know, you hit it and the, and the uh, bang stick hits the pin on the, uh, on the bullet and it just shoots out. It's like a one shot thing, uh, you know, fairly safe to be out there with that. And uh, so that's what that is, it's called a bang stick. And uh, that's really the gist of it. So we're going to go to a processing center. We're not going to clean it ourselves. We've never done it, and it's a huge project. And at the processing center, you can either just sell the whole gator, so none of it's wasted. You know, the meat goes to restaurants, or you can get the hide. Uh, you know, they make uh, shoes and belts and pocketbooks at it, or or you can do it yourself. So when we get there, we're going to see what Darcy decides to do with these gators, and uh, so we'll be there right away. All right, guys, we made it to the processor. We got one already hung up, and we are gonna figure out what we're gonna do with him. We're probably gonna take some meat and harvest some height as well. Yeah, he's 10 8 exactly. That is definitely the biggest gator we've ever harvested. Good. And that one, you said, might be a little bigger? Okay, yeah. yeah. Down, but, uh, nice. That's a pretty big gator, y'all. Close to 11 foot. Right across the middle of the bank. He's 11. Oh, he's 11. Ten no, 10-7. Ten seven. Right. A little bigger. That's, right. <laughs> That's good, though. That nice. 10-8? Ten 10-7. Eight. Ten eight. Ten ten They're basically twins. Yeah. And I got bees all over me. Just before we get these gators in the refrigerators, just want to go ahead and show you these crazy mouths on them. Look at these bright white teeth. I was mentioning that before. It's like they almost go to the dentist. Their teeth are so white. And you can see, too, there's like little indentations where the, the teeth meet and go into the mouth so that way the mouth closes completely. But these are, you know, absolute brutes. They're from the prehistoric era and it's pretty wild to just see these up close and personal like that and they're just solid armor plating all the way down. And the crazy thing too about these uh, these webbed feet, you can see there's webs here and you can see these giant claws and these back two don't have any claws. Pretty crazy. And these are called the scoots up here on the back. and. Um, back here, you can see that these claws are even bigger on the hind legs. But just the, oh, he's moving. He doesn't like that. But you can see the crazy, wicked looking claws. He's actually pulling his leg in right now. The nerves are pulling the leg in right now. But pretty wild. And you can see that just giant tail. That's just so powerful. And that's how they swim. And that's how they, you know, um, propel themselves through the water, especially when they're going to hunt their predator or hunt whatever they like to eat. When a lot of these guys where we caught them eat pigs and deer, birds, anything that is in the swamp. So these are absolute dinosaurs and anything over 10 foot is a trophy. So 10, seven, 10, eight, not a bad hunt at all. <laughs> no, I don't want to do. Yeah. What's like the most popular colors, I guess, that people. Chocolate and black. Chocolate and black are the, all right, let's do chocolate. Chocolate. This one we're doing, um, the hornback and it's going to be chocolate. We are giving you back the tenderloins and gel hole on this one. Yes. Perfect. All right, guys, let's get into this. Welcome to another edition, guys, of Cooking with Pudding. And uh, we got all the stuff already prepared. We're doing alligator, of course. And today is about, today is a week and a day. It's Sunday, so we're doing a big football thing today. This is going to be a great appetizer for us. So I drove up yesterday to Central Florida trophy hunts and picked up the gator meat and just show you how it comes. We had a bunch, they prepared and processed and, and hit it with the hammer. Well, they have a machine, I'm sure. They processed it all nice and soft for us. So that is ready to go, that's what we cooked. And I basically got it all ready here. I just covered it with some fish, this fish fry stuff, this Louisiana fish fry, and then some standard panko breadcrumbs, you know, pretty standard, just flour, egg, and then this. If you guys need some fancy beer all of that later, I'll be happy to do it. Let me just put some of this in here real quick. And of course, Puddin's already experimented a little bit. And this is our Hamilton Beach Fryer. 
and you can find all my excellent cooking stuff along with Darcy's excellent fishing stuff on that Amazon link, of which of course we put in every single video description. And she has a store on there and all the stuff we use will be in there and you can buy that too. And of course you can buy all your Christmas gifts through that. So that's the Hamilton Beach Fryer. Of course it always has the rack I talk about. All that's in there, right? But let me show you how this stuff comes. We got a bunch of meat in addition to it. Let me show you. They, you know, we, I told you we weren't gonna clean it. So they, we got the jowls and we got the... It's heavy. We got a bunch of these. This is the, the tail meat. Uh, I forget what they call that, the loin of the tail. It's supposed to be one of the best parts. And of course, the other things are like the cheeks, okay? And we're also getting some hide made and also another big hide because we have two gators that we can put on the wall. So that's gonna be totally awesome. And we're gonna do one of the heads ourselves. Let me show you this gator head. Oh, look at this. It's in the house. Look at this. I don't wanna cut myself. Look at these teeth. Pretty crazy. So we're gonna boil this up and turn it into a skull. A lot of hillbilly redneck stuff going on around here. You know I love it. <laughs> Let me rinse off. So we're just doing this for a minute and a half. And of course, because I was so excited to talk to you guys, I didn't put on the timer. But that's gonna be all done. And uh, we really have a nice football thing. You know, Darcy's favorite team is the Miami Dolphins, or a bunch of losers. And but my favorite team is the Jets. And I'm like on football rehab because I can't watch them anymore. So it's disgusting, right? But anyway, we're gonna have some land shark beer. We're gonna have some nice alligator. Appetizer, I'm gonna put this, dip it in this remoulade sauce, which this, you remember this is from the, uh, the croaker video we did. It's supposed to be George Poveromo's favorite sauce in the whole wide world. So that's the gist of it. I'm gonna be done in about three minutes. And then we'll see how Darcy likes it over at the table. All right, Darcy Sizzle. Let's do it. I already had like two alligators worth, of course. He's had a lot already. Full. Uh, talking about my diet, I know you're all saying I look so skinny in the comments. Thank you so much. And I know fried alligator with a beer is not really on a diet, but I haven't had a carbohydrate besides this in like literally a month. He's been doing good. He said he's not going to have like any dessert until his birthday, which is going to be December 28th. Uh, just Head saying. Back. Yes. No dessert <laughs> for the 28th. His beautiful carrot cake that he loves. So he said he made a deal. Yes. So, and now I need to work out with him too. Oops. I gotta tell you, you know, I've had alligator quite a few times in restaurants and even at home and it wasn't that good. It wasn't prepared that well. I mean, really to process it and tenderize it was the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, hit it with a hammer like a hundred thousand times. It's not, you know, it's a little tough. But this is the best alligator I've ever had. Exactly. This is really good. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm never processing an alligator, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna let the experts do it. Yeah. Just take, it's really a, ba a bad job. Stinky job. Yeah. Oh, I just spit. <laughs> so very successful. Exactly. Very awesome. A lot of fun. You guys got to go in here, honey, and make it a bucket list thing one of these days. And Brian just said we only got a couple pounds. Don't worry. There was no waste on the alligators. The remainder of the meat that we did not take. Sorry, I'm spitting it again. Jeez. <laughs> right. It goes to the restaurants. Yes. There's like a million alligators there. Do and not, all the restaurants come from there. Yes. Do yeah. not worry, people. Do not worry. Yeah. There's no waste. Every inch is, is used. Yep. Anyway, I just wanted to clarify that. I don't want you guys to get all upset in the comments. They'll below. strangle us. No waste, no waste, folks, no waste. But get ready for some epic content coming out real soon. This was an epic video. I'm gonna link all the information we talked about and any information you want down in the description below. Check that out. Don't forget about the holidays coming right up. I got a website with a ton of stuff on it too for you guys to check out. And um, I appreciate it if you go spend a couple bucks there too. So anyhow, we love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. My dream would be for the Jets to win a football game. I want to eat this alligator while it's hot. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs>